We are on the water in the beautiful Bahamas for the start of day two of the Star Sailors League Finals. Conditions are expected to be similar to yesterday, so the sailors are looking forward to some light air racing. After a general recall, racing got off to a bang with current leaders Rohart Ponceau over the line, which gave an opening to the Italians to take an early lead around the first mark. Wow, uh, Pepper and Prada have just tacked into a wall of boats coming at them. The left paid with the Croatians Gaspic Sitic overhauling the Italians. So it's a good lead for Gaspic and Sitic. It was a day for the invitees with Americans Kayard and Sharp performing well. But Gaspic never looked in doubt. So that's Gaspic and Sitic taking the gun on race five. First downwind, uh, we had a good idea of what we want to do and we nailed the lay line. So we just uh, made it in front and the rest was easy because we knew that the uh, wind was uh, shifting a little bit right. So uh, we were expecting this, that one coming and uh, we played the game uh, quite good. With a clean start in race six, the top French were back on track, taking the lead and the race with 100 meters to spare. Crossing the finish line, high fives. Everything was really perfect. We built this uh, victory, so we hope to have the same on the next one. More VIP teams were in the hunt on the final race, with German Schumann Burkowski and Brits Williams Mitchell rounding the top mark 1-2. Schumann held off hard-charging Italians Negri and the French for the win. Jochen punching the air, he's happy with that. After two days, the French remain at the top. The Italians still second, with the Polish moving up into third. But the cutoff after two races tomorrow will be that all-important 11th spot. Congratulations, Ian. Pretty good day today. Has you guys sitting 10th. So qualifying so far, are you happy with that? Oh yeah, we're over the moon really to be, to be intent at this point, but I think um, when we came here we were expecting to be somewhere near the back and if we got a chance of qualifying, that's, that's amazing. With only 11 going through, it will be a make or break final two races of qualifying. <laughs>